Suppose we wanted to add the Laplace operator into our document, then we would need the AMS symbols package. So click on Typeset, Options and Packages, package, uh, Add Package on the Package Options tab, and then start typing AMS symbols. Click on OK. It now shows us we've got the AMS symbols package in our document. Then we put the cursor where we want the operator to go, for example there, and from the text formatting tags, choose either choose calligraphic from the drop-down or start typing CAL. The grey panel on the bottom tells us that we're uh, in calligraphic now, and so Shift L puts the operator into our document. Suppose we wanted the Laplace transform of cos squared KT, and we wanted that in brackets first, Choose the brackets, put the cursor at the beginning. Uh, we're not actually in calligraphic here. It's simply showing calligraphic here at the top because that was our last chosen text formatting tag. But just start typing C-A-L and select it. And now with the cursor in the document, Shift L. Now, if we're going to be creating many of these, then we would want to save the L, the operator, as a fragment. So bring this side panel in, highlight the Laplace transform, and drop it to our fragments panel, and then give it a name. I'm going to call mine LAP, and a description, Laplace transform. And LAP goes into my list of fragments. There it is. Now in future, whenever I want that Laplace transform operator, I can click somewhere and then um, bring that LAP in from the Fragments menu. There we are. Now, of course, the real power of Laplace transforms in Scientific Workplace is that we can uh, use the program in order to evaluate the transforms. So File, New Document, let's just open a blank document to, to work with. And then let's change to uh, maths mode. Actually, I'm yeah, changing to maths mode, if that's large enough. Type, for example, T sine of KT. When we type the SIN, notice it becomes a function. T sine of KT. And then from the computer panel, choose transforms and Laplace. Um, suppose we want another one. Let's do a carriage return, change to maths mode. Suppose we have t to the power of minus a half. Spacebar back to the main line. Compute transforms Laplace transform. Spacebar to the main line. Change to maths mode. Uh, let's have a look at another one. A fraction, so a command forward slash or control forward slash on Windows. One minus cos of kt. Uh, tab to the bottom line, t. Spacebar back to the main line and compute transforms Laplace. And finally, one other one you might be interested in, um, t to the power of n, e to the power of a t, t, command up, n, e, command up, a t, spacebar, and then compute, transforms, Laplace. Shows us that that's gamma of n plus 1 over s minus a to the n plus 1 when the real part of n is greater than minus 1. And when we click on PDF preview, we generate the document um, as a PDF.